this Stephen Anderson stuff, you went, you say you went rogue, or it was a bit rough, or something. so. Basically, basically, what happened was with the whole uh, Stephen Anderson thing. Like I began seeing problems with the whole new IFB uh, system way back in uh, January of 2019, when the whole uh, scandal of of Donnie Romero, who's one of the new IFB pastors. Uh, ends up getting busted for basically seeing like being a prostitute and, and gambling and that kind of stuff. And basically one of the pastors of Donnie Romero or one of, one of the pastors he was training was a guy called Adam Fannin. And basically Adam Fannin, uh, what happened was is that supposedly this is an independent Baptist church system. And supposedly they're independent churches, you know, they're, they're self-governing. Well, Anderson, because the, the church that Donnie Romero pastored was a uh, steadfast Baptist church. That it was that's what it was called. So Anderson marches into Steadfast Baptist Church. It's not his church, but he he basically goes in and basically starts calling shots and uh, basically tells them he basically tells them who their new pastor is going to be. And at one point, one of the congregation members says, "Well, can we can we have a vote on it? Because you know we're the church members." Anderson basically says, "No, I've already picked the pastor for you." So like, that was the first thing I saw. Because wait a second, I thought there were supposed to be independent churches. How come Anderson is able just to march in and? And and they have no say in, in who which pastor they get because Anderson already picks a pastor for them, you know. At that point, I I know I I kind of was figuring that yeah, it is starting to look like it's some kind of denomination because if it's independent, they should just vote on the new pastor. Like, why does Anderson have to come pick a pastor for them? And then also, I also saw problematic how the pastor that Anderson did select was a guy called Jonathan Shelley, and um, he he wasn't supposed to get ordained until the Sunday. Of, of the week that Romero got busted. He got, Romero got busted on Wednesday of the first week of January. And then uh, the Shelly guy was supposed to get ordained on Sunday of that same week. Well, Shelly was not even officially ordained yet. So he, he technically at that point was not the pastor yet, but yet he was already calling shots and acting like he was the pastor. And at one point, Fannin uh, didn't, was refusing to get under Shelly's authority for you know legitimate reasons that, that Fannin didn't think Shelly was a good pick and that, you know, he felt that um, that th they should wait for a better option. And Shelly just said, oh, you're fired. And, and basically Anderson sends Fannin a text message saying, oh, you're fired. And then I, I noticed that basically instead of, and, and then both Shelly and Fannin that Sunday, both preached sermons attacking Adam Fannin. And, and I was kind of thinking like, wait a second, you know, Donnie Romero, this Donnie Romero guy was the one involved in all these perverted sins. How come you're not doing sermons on him? But then they basically, switch all their and dump all their their you know all their hatred on adam fannin to kind of like you know take away attention from romero and, and at that point i started to realize yeah it's starting starting to look like a cult almost and then you know eventually later on i began seeing more and more and more problems and then got to the point where i'm thinking like okay i like i gotta get out of this so i i left and you know uh very quietly too they didn't even notice i was gone and then i was just rogue for a couple months and then it was uh, November of 20, that same year, 2019, where I joined the Brian Dunlinger cult. And I, I'd already been listening to him for like months prior. Uh, in fact, it was actually his videos that were part of the reason why I left his, or left Brian, or left uh, Anderson's cult. So I was part of Brian's cult for about, about a year. Then September of 2020, actually it was September 27th of 2020, because uh, the, the day prior I came out with a live stream just simply, just simply, just voicing disagreements. Just simply, like trying to lovingly just say, "Hey, I, I don't agree with Brian on the whole video game thing. I think that, you know, if it's a clean game, there's no violence, there's that kind of stuff, no profanity. I think there's nothing wrong with just playing it in moderation." And, and you know, I was trying to be very nice and meek about it. So then, uh, Brian Dillinger's protege, Aaron Deering, swoops in uh, on some kind of like you know holy papal mission for Pope Brian Dillinger. And it's just in the comments calling me all kinds of just attacking me personally, attacking my mom personally. You know, I mean, like he hasn't he hasn't even seen or known my mom anything about her, but he's attacking her personally. Um, he he claimed he said like in the comments he was saying that I I'm possessed with the spirit of divination and uh, he like he goes on to suggest I'm a Jesuit or something like that. And I'm thinking like all this for simply just voicing like disagreeing with Sir Brian. So at that point I realized yeah Brian is running a cult too. So I left that group as well, and. Um, at this point, I'm kind of just. At this point, I'm just kind of back to be rogue. You know, I'm not part of any group. I'm not part of any sect. Just me and the Holy Spirit, basically. I'm not. I don't want to be a part of any, you know, cult or anything. So, and 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 it does seem now that now Aaron Deering is getting a taste of his own medicine because now the Brian Dunning cult wants nothing to do with him anymore because I think they've now seen his true colors.